and welcome to Quick Pitch presented by Blue Emu. I'm Heidi Watney. Hey, Ryan McMahon, the home run derby at Coors Field isn't for another three months. That took more than 17 months, but the Nationals finally got to raise their 2019 World Series championship banner in the center field plaza in front of fans. And even that was delayed an extra four days after a COVID outbreak forced the Nats to push their home opener back. In all, nine players are sidelined, including four opening day starters in Jan Gomes, Josh Bell, Josh Harrison, and Kyle Schwarber. And two starting pitchers are out, Patrick Corbin and John Lester. Even still, opening day in D.C. didn't disappoint. It's Braves and Nationals as seen on Afternoon Baseball presented. Billy w. On the day they raised their 2019 World Series championship flag, the Nats recaptured some of that magic, picking up their first win of the year in dramatic fashion. It was childish Bambino Juan Soto who delivered the walk-off knock, joining this list of Nats, including his teammate, Mr. National himself, Ryan Zimmerman. Sick Mile High style. It is official. The 2021 All-Star Game will be held at Coors Field in Denver, Colorado. MLB relocated the game from Atlanta after Georgia's state government passed new voting laws that critics say restricts voting access. Now, the Rockies last hosted the marquee event in 1998, so maybe the friendly confines aren't so friendly after all. Well, Brewers pitchers weren't very friendly to the Cubs bats in this one. It marked the fifth time since the turn of the century that Milwaukee has one hit an opponent. But they haven't finished the deal in quite some time. They currently have the third longest no hitter drought behind San Diego and Cleveland. Now to the Bronx for Yankees Orioles. Quick pitch before the break. We asked you who hit the first home run as a DH in MLB history. The answer is eight time all star Tony Oliva who spent his entire 15 year career with the twins. Now let's head out to Comerica Park where twins current believable. The Tigers take this one in walk off fashion thanks to who else but Akil Badu and get this the 22 year old outfielder had never played above a ball prior to making the Tigers out of spring training where he clubbed five home in 40 at bats and he's not just filling a roster spot check out what he's done through his first three big league games a home run on the first pitch he sees on Sunday a grand slam on Monday and of course the walk off knock on Tuesday now off to the city of brotherly love for Phillies and Mets like my new threads this is hot off the spring runway. The Nike MLB City Connect series celebrates the bond between select clubs and their cities, starting with the Red Sox jersey inspired by Patriots Day, a tradition for all Bostonians that celebrates the indomitable spirit of champions. The gold and blue colors honor the values of the city and club, drive grit resilience, and remind us of the finish line of the big race in Boston every spring. The Nike MLB City Connect series will also feature the Diamondbacks, Cubs, White Sox, Dodgers, Marlins, and Giants. You can pick yours up today at Nike.com. His amazing start to the year with four RBI and the Rangers win over Toronto. He now has 14 in the club's first five games of the year. Only Chris Davis, who had 17 in the O's first five games of 2013, had more to begin a season. Off to Cincy, where the Reds were pouring on the runs. Tyler Naquin led the charge in the Reds' victory over the Buccos, driving in half of the club's runs. His seven RBI from the top spot matched Brandon Phillips' franchise mark set back in 2015. Felipe Lopez had a six RBI game for Cincy in 05, while MLB's all-time hits leader Pete Rose drove in six back in 1964. First five games in MLB history, but as the saying goes, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And none of the clubs that you see here played in October. Two teams who have started off pretty hot, the Angels and Astros are in Anaheim. It's time now for last call, and I, for one, am excited to see the All-Star Game in Colorado this season. Denver's not only beautiful in the summer, but the home run derby in the Mile High City is sure to be epic. In fact, here is some throwback video from the last Midsummer Classic at Coors Field. And it was none other than the kid, Ken Griffey Jr., who won the home run derby that year. I can't wait. Thanks for